Hi guys, thank you for watching. Welcome to today's video and to my channel if you're new here. My name's Debbie if we've not met before and this is the second video that I've done with the Jeffree Star Bloodless palette and I'll link yesterday's video up in the cards for you in case you're interested to watch that but I did something very dark and goth inspired yesterday so I kind of want to do pretty much the opposite today and see if I can get something sort of light and airy and pretty and I really want to play on sort of the more bluey kind of purples in the palettes. So the shade Scandal Water is the influence for today's look and probably take the crown as well. I'm kind of going to play with those and probably bring in a blue eyeliner to kind of change things sort of to a more bluey hue rather than just the, the more pinky purples today. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Probably later on in the week, I'm going to bring some other palettes in, but I just wanted to, to do something to match my top really because... <laughs> That's what I do. So, and my mum's coming today for dinner, and she doesn't like to like wild makeup on me or makeup on me at all, really. So we're we're going to be doing something quite sort of um, toned down, I guess, but still really pretty, and I'm quite excited for it. So I'm going to scoot you in. Without further ado, we'll get started. So as I did for yesterday's video, I'm going to put a picture of the palette up on the screen throughout the video so I don't have to keep holding it up and then you can refer to the shade that I'm talking about by looking at the picture there. But I'm going to start as I say with Scandal Water and I have primed my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk because I want to make sure that these pastel shades really pop. And I'm going to start my look off with the S3 from Kaleidos because it's fluffy but sort of pinched so it allows me to get into the crease. I'm going to be building this shade up quite significantly in the crease and taking it reasonably high. A beautiful bluey purple shade. I think it's definitely shown up better for having a white base underneath it. I don't think it would have shown up that pigmented. I might have been wrong, but I think this is definitely helping. I'm going to sort of wing it out a little bit kind of cut crease style but I'm not going to be doing a full cut crease because I'm not very good at those if I'm honest so we're not going to go there that's something I need to practice off camera I think to to perfect my uh, technique with that but we are going to do a cut crease of sorts but just half cut crease but I love that shade already I think that's going on really really nicely Super beautiful periwinkle bluey purple. Reminds me of the shade in the Norvina palette that everybody was going crazy for when that palette came out, which was really the only interesting shade in that palette to my mind and why I bought it. But I think this one's more intense and more, more purple, I suppose. I've almost uh, taken the the stamp off of this one now it's like a little goblet and it's almost gone already so I've had to dip in one or two times to build up this amount of pigment but it's looking nice I think so as I say, I'm going to take this fairly high because I want to cut the crease quite high give myself as much lid space as possible so I can play with some of these shimmers as I said, I just want a sort of winged out kind of shape, but nothing, nothing as winged out as yesterday's look. So sort of fading as it wings, not nearly so harsh and, and editorial as yesterday's. I'm really inspired by the colours in this palette and different kind of looks I can pull together. I'm definitely going to be doing something with the green shade, the vile serpent shade very soon because that one speaks to me and I want to uh, bring another palette in with that one and I know exactly what I want to do with that so that might be my next look. I'm going to take a small amount of Dungeon, so the grey purple shade just to intensify that crease. I don't want to make the look too dark but I want a bit of depth in that crease. Honestly, this shade is such a good shade to have in the palette, I think, because it's cool toned enough to pull out the purples, but kind of will lend itself to, to the pinks as well. It's a really unique tone. 
definitely one of my favourites in the palette. But quite honestly, purple is one of my favourite colours to wear and just having so many different options in this palette is really inspiring to me. I'm just going to dip into Deviant now just to blend a bit higher towards my brow but I don't want too much of that. But I just don't want to see that stark white from the, the primer that we've got laid down so probably going to end up all the way up to my brows because that's what I end up doing every time but that's okay. Got a gradient and that's what I wanted to achieve there. Now in with my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer that's looking a bit battered about but that's my concealer of choice to do a cut crease um, my cut crease brush from Sigma which honestly I could not do my cut creases without this now I love this brush so I'm just going to whiz through the footage of me cutting the crease because it's not the most exciting thing to watch So in the outer part of the cut crease, I'm going to go in with Take the Crown. I'm careful to make sure I can see it above the line of my crease. I've got those folds in my eyes. I'm being careful so I can still see it there. Now, in a part, I'm going in with Beauty Sleep. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm wrapping Beauty Sleep around my inner corner as well. In my outer corner, just in this area here, I'm going to go back in with Scandal Water and just tap that over. Could have gone in with Dungeon, but I don't want to make this look too dark. And then where those two shades meet, I just want a little bit of wet jewel. Just taking that on a teeny tiny brush. quite a crumbly sort of texture it's one of these topper shades that I'm not a massive fan of if I'm honest I know Jeffy's made a, a fuss about this being his new formula but it's not really my favourite sort of formula really just going to go in with a tiny eyeliner brush this one's an A15 from Spectrum back into Scandal Water and just clean up on the edge there Just really want to make sure that that shade is showing in the look. Now I'm going to go in with Linda Howard's Cool Mood. I want to create a wing on my upper lid and connect it to my lower lash line. Probably won't be able to talk while I do this, so I'll speed through the footage for this.
And I'm gonna take scandal water again and just set that wing with scandal water. You won't really see it, but that will just stop that pencil from moving. So I'm just using a flat definer to do that. And then a Morphe 506 and Deviant just to, to soften the edges underneath. is a great shade for that because you don't really see it too much but it just helps to just stop it looking quite so harsh and I'm just going to wrap beauty sleep around the lash line and onto my lava lash just to meet up with that shade just turning this tiny brush on its edge just so I can be precise enough to blend those two together It's turned quite an intense look in the end, but that's the look to this point. So I'm just going to hop off camera for mascara and a lip for the look, and I'll be right back with you to show you the completed look. Okay, guys, so here's the finished look. And I've paired it with a Velour Liquid Lipstick. This one's Purple Urkel from the 2019 Summer Collection, the Jawbreaker Collection. And I love a purple lip. This one's quite understated for me, but I do think it really suits the look and softens the look down. Also for my highlight, I've gone in with one of the original Skin Frost. This one's Lavender Snow because it's got that kind of cool tone to it that I was looking for. So that's today's look. What do you think my mum's going to think? I don't think this is as understated as I kind of set out to achieve, which is always what happens when I start playing. But... I'm not mad at it, I think it looks really, really nice. And I just wanna remind everybody that you don't have to stick to what's in the palette to create a look. Like, just adding this pencil has totally transformed the shades in here. And that's what I wanna inspire you to do, to bring other things in, because nobody uses just one palette in isolation, I don't feel, I certainly don't. I bring pencils in, I bring glitters in, I bring all sorts of things into my looks when I do them. So I didn't wanna limit myself to just the shades in the palette. I just wanna bring my creative side out. So hopefully I'm doing that for you guys as well, and I hope you're uh, enjoying the look so far. As I say, I'm making this kind of a Jeffree Star week, so I'm going to be combining this palette with other things throughout the week to show you what you could do with it, and also using it alone as well. But, but I'm just so inspired by the shades in it and just really having a good time playing with it, really. So, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed yet, then I'd love it if you would consider doing so before you go. And drop me a comment down below. Do you like the look? Would you wear it? Or did you prefer yesterday's look if you've watched that? I'd love to know kind of what your makeup vibe is and what you enjoy seeing. So, but yeah, that brings us to the end of today's video, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.